Hey folks, Allison here. I want to talk to you about communication today. And, you know, as a marriage counselor and as a therapist, communication is a really important thing that we need to learn those skills. But one of the things that I see happening today, not only with young people, but with older people too, is communicating over text only, and sometimes serious discussions. And when we are texting, especially when we're abbreviating and stuff, and we're doing it very quickly, there's a whole lot of opportunity for misunderstanding. I remember with my husband when we were dating, I, I said to him, can we talk? And he just sent the letter Y. And I thought he was asking why, and I got all upset. He actually was saying yes. So you could see how there can be a lot of confusion. But I want to leave you with this thought. I remember a friend of mine telling me when she was training to be a lector, they give, they give you this sentence, and depending on what word you emphasize, it can have a very different meaning. So here's the sentence. I didn't say you could kiss her. 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 Do you understand? So I know it's convenient. Text should really be used for, I'll meet you at seven o'clock. Where are you? Can you pick up milk? <laughs> Those kind of conversations. And I think particularly young people, it's, it's almost weird for them to talk on the phone I think, especially if you're having any kind of serious discussion or if there's any, anything open to misunderstanding, think about it, all right? Because I think that, you know, with all this new technology, it can be very convenient, but I've seen a lot of misunderstandings and even relationships breaking over, over text messages. So I hope you find that helpful and amusing, <laughs> and I'll talk to you soon.